Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Easy Links Live. I'm your host, Ryan Bukema. And on today's show, today we're going to be talking about Automation Center. Throughout 2021, we have had a focus on improving the productivity of an agency. And the enhancements that we have made to Automation Center have helped us towards that goal. Automation plays an intricate role in the efficiency of your agency. So let's take a look at some of the cool things that we have done this year in Automation Center to make it easier to work with, and two, easier for you to identify things that you might want to be able to automate in your agency so that you guys can become more efficient. Let's get Automation Center pulled up. So this is our basically our, our, our dashboard here in Automation Center for, for people who have not been here. Um, this is a great overview of being able to see how many workflows get executed, how many actions have been executed, has anything failed, right? And then, of course, based on the workflows, what are the top ones that you have as an agency? And if you had multiple branches, you'd be able to see, hey, how, what, what branches are executing the most workflows? Um, <clears throat> but really important, let's come over here to our actual workflow tab. This gives us a great overview of the different workflows that have been created at this agency, everywhere from claims to renewal workflows to new home quoted complete, uh, all these different things uh, we have set up at this agency. And there's a lot of great information. You can see the workflow name. You can see who created it. When was it modified? What trigger is it actually working off? Is it the claims? Is it an uh, applicant? Even the description over there, you can see exactly what's going to happen when the thing fired and its statuses. Now, I have all these disabled because we want to go in and create one and then have some fun and see what it does. So let's actually click on, there you go, create new workflow. So really quick, setting up workflows for your agency might be a daunting task. You might think, what am I going to do? How, how am I going to automate stuff? Um, and, and we've helped solve that. One thing that we've done is we make it really easy. Step by step, select the trigger, add filters that you want, add actions, and then go ahead and finish the setup. So very, very, very simple. And what I really want to do right now is I, I just want to share some numbers with you guys. <clears throat> so automate your agency. Uh, you know, we've got about 22 different triggers in EasyLinks right now that you can use uh, to trigger a workflow. So like a new customer added, an additional policy added, policy cancellation, all those things are triggers, right? And there's 22 of them that you can set up workflows for in EasyLinks. Filters, filters are things that allow you to really fine tune a workflow. So maybe if a new policy is added and the carrier is Safeco and the line of business is it's auto, then do these things, right? So you can, you have 35 different filters and that's at a high level. That's not actually getting into the filters filters. So let's just keep it high at 35, right? And then you got 10 actions that you can actually have happen when something is triggered, it applies to one of the filters, then we have an action such as, you know, create a task, send a link to client center, send a text message to the customer, um, send an email out to the customer, all these different things that you can happen. So if you do the math, and it's a lot of math, there are literally thousands of things and ways that you can automate the system, thousands of ways to do that. Now, that number might be a little daunting, right? So where do I start? If there's thousands of things I can do, I just want to figure out where to go. Well, we've made it really easy this year uh, to be able to get your foot in the door, uh, or actually get your foot wet and start automating. We've created what are known as templates, right? And these templates are based off of things that we've seen heavily used in the system. So comparing all the agencies who utilize Automation Center, well, what are they all automating? Great, let's create some templates that people can start with and then they can build upon. So for example, we have the new customer workflow right here. This is leveraged when a new customer is triggered in the system. A welcome email is sent, a link to client center goes out, a drip campaign for the customer setup, all these great things, you know. Um, organized personal account information. This one will create folders based on if a, a new customer is created or an account is created rather. Commercial account, if you create a commercial account, boom, this thing's gonna set up folders in that account so that you can add documents to them later. If you wanna send out customer birthday wishes, Here's how you actually automate. So let, let's let's go in real quick here to new customer ad. Just look at what this looks like. So we don't have any filters really applied on this right now, right? You can fine tune it if you want, but if you just wanted to, every single time a new customer is put into the system, bang, it's gonna send you this templated email, right? You can choose if the customer doesn't have an email address, then send them a text and what you want it to send as. Um, <clears throat> 
And then we also create an actual task. So here's what the task is going to get created. Uh, 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 we are looking uh, to welcome the new customer to the agency. Um, it's assigned to the assigned to on the account. This is due X number of days. It actually even creates a checklist, right? So we preloaded a templated checklist so that you guys can have that work in your agency. So make sure the, the, the client center link is received. You know, Make sure you inform them about client center. So all this stuff is already set up for you. Now, can you go in and change it? Of course you can. If, if, if this doesn't apply to the workflow that you want in your agency or how you want thing ha things handled, that's completely fine. Maybe, maybe you want this workflow to not actually happen every single time a new customer is created. Maybe you want this to actually happen every single time a, uh, a VIP customer is added. Maybe this is going to be a certain thing that you want to have happen in the system. The, 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 the beauty of these templates, though, is that we kind of get, get you going down the path. Right? And that was an amazing addition that we added this year. We added the ability to provide you guys with a ton of templates that you can use to try to figure out what you want to automate in your agency or get an idea of how to do things. Now, with respect to um, the triggers that we have in the system beyond these, triggers are based, like it's say, for example, in Communication Center, if an e-signature is completed, you can automate uh, uh, items to take place after that. Management system is where we have a bulk of our triggers right now. So everything from if a new customer gets created in the system. Um, and this happens whenever you uh, create the first policy on that customer. This is going to fire off and then you can choose what you want to have happen. Uh, if an applicant is created, if a notice of cancellation comes in, the birthday, carrier notifications are received or a carrier document is received, you can determine how you want to have that handled. So if a deck page comes in in a download, you can choose to just have that sent directly to the actual customer if you want. Um, and then you can create manual workflows if you want to have certain things trigger certain ways. And that's just, that's just the management system. guys. That's just the management system. If we come down here to rating... If a quote is successful submission, what do you want to have happen? Do you want to have those quote results actually get emailed out to the customer so that they can get them in an email and it can state that you're going to contact them shortly uh, to advise them on which way to go? You can do that and you can automate that right here with this trigger. Right? You can also come in here and look at retention center. So if your agency is big on using retention center to be able to manage your renewal workflows, these triggers are great. So anytime an applicant is added to the renewal list, then fire off a series of events of things I want to have happen, tasks, tasks with a checklist attached, attached to them. Maybe emails get sent out letting the customer know things, you know, all those different types. Uh, if a policy is on the expiration list, I want to have these different things happen. So we also have for those using Sales Center, each time an opportunity drops into one of the different buckets in Automation Center, whether it's pricing, interview, presentation, decision, fulfillment, you can also automate what you want to have happen there. Maybe this is really great for task management. You know, if something gets sent to interview, we want to have a couple of tasks get created for people based off of that opportunity. And you can do that here. You can automate that if you want to. Let's go ahead and go back up here to management system. And let's just say if a new applicant is created. So we're going to test it with this one. It's a pretty simple one to look through. So we're going to say new applicant is created, right? Um, and we're going to say that the, uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. We're going to say if the applicant is in Texas, right? So that's a filter. So this is going to, what's happening here is anytime an applicant is created and they're in Texas, Right? Then what do I want to have it do? Do I want to have it create a note or a task? Do I want it to send an email to that customer? Do I want it to create a whole bunch of folders for them? You know, get them all set up and ready to go in the system. Uh, maybe send them a text message. Hey, we're looking forward to talking with you about your quotes coming up. Um, send a link to Client Center. Right? We're for the sake of this, we're just going to create a task, right? And so the thing is, we'll say uh, new uh, customer added in our great state of Texas, right? So who was, was added up. And what's really neat here is you can then determine, uh, do I want this task to be considered important? Yeah. 
when's it going to be due? It's due one day after the actual event takes place in the system. Uh, is there a due time? Do I want it to be due a time? Yeah, we're going to make this due by 5 p.m., right? We want to reach back out to them. Um, who's it going to be assigned to? Is it assigned to a specific person? Like maybe there's maybe there's a CSR or somebody in your agency who sends out welcome information and welcomes everybody to the agency. Great. You can specify that this task is just for that one person, right? Or maybe you don't care and whoever the assigned to record or the, uh, the agent of record on that account is, that's who uh, basically gets the task. Great. You can do that there. You can also add a checklist if maybe there's a, a slew of steps and things that you want to do. That's actually just for fun. Let's select one of the ch checklists. So this is uh, not new business. Let's look for, you know, we have new business in here, new account. Um, yeah, let's just put in new business just to pull up a list of things and show it in the task. So we have all these different checklist things that have to happen, you know, it's associated with this task, right? Do we want to have any more reminders? Nah, I think, I, think we're, I think we are good to go. So the task is going to get created. Next thing you want to do in this whole process, which is really simple, we selected a trigger, added a filter, added whatever action we want, and now we're gonna get done by giving it a name. So new customer added in, oh, my typing is terrible today, terrible. Uh, new customer added in Texas. This uh, will create a task uh, due in one day. Right? And what agency? So if you had multiple agencies, maybe you want certain things uh, happening a certain way at a certain agency. Maybe there's a, a, a person at that agency, a CSR, who does certain things, and that's who the task is going to be assigned to. That's fine. Uh, you can apply it to every agency in your org or just individual agencies. It doesn't matter. It's completely up to you. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and select everybody, and we're going to save the workflow. All right, so what's actually going to be happening is, uh, oh, oh, oh. One quick thing, make sure we enable it. So it's going to go through an enabling process. We're communicating with a bunch of systems uh, in the system, which are going to be getting things set up and, and all those different types of things. And um, sometimes it takes a little while just to, to make sure that everything is um, getting set up here. So if we go ahead and uh, let's, uh, go back to this, let's go back to uh, modified today. Still enabling, uh, and it can take some time. It's important to note that sometimes it can take some time for these uh, automations to actually get enabled in the system, uh, but when they are, then you'll be good to go. So if we look for new customer added, still looking at this one, let's go back out, enabling. And then once it's enabled, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, we're gonna create a new account and we're gonna see what it actually does. We're gonna see it fire the actual workflow and it'll create the task. And this is something that you could do in, in, in your agency, right? You want to maybe, um, there we go, enable. So it's ready to go. This thing is set up and ready to go in the system. So technically, anytime a new customer is added in Texas, it's gonna create this task, right? And this can be, you know, uh, you can use tasks, you can have email sent, folders created. So let's just say we're creating my account here. Ryan was added. Look at this big, long last name here. It's a tough one, Bukema. Uh, the state is going to be Texas, 76180. Um, gender, uh, male, birth date, 11141981. Okay, status, uh, we'll just go with single O, make it easier for us. Um, business, he's in there. The buyer. All right, let's get an address in here. Let's do, let's do um, three fifty Highland Drive, Louisville, Texas. There we go. All right. How long have we been here at the Easy Links address? Eh, eh, um, put in a phone number. Uh, another thing that's really important is if you wanted to have this thing actually send out an email to the customer when you're creating them, <laughs> make sure you put the email in at this point in time or the number that they're going to be using for texting, right? Now, we won't create the actual co-applicant. We don't need them. We'll remove them since I selected married. Um, but we'll come down here. We'll click save. This is going to go in. It's going to create the actual customer's account. Da, da, da. Okay. If we come back over here to the overview page, oh, look at that. We have, an up, we have a task that's due. It's gonna be due, let's take a look at. 
Oh, look, new customer is added. Please follow up the customer. This is the exact workflow that we created and it already has the checklist right here. Isn't this great? So you could create a, a, a task with a checklist, send an email to the customer. You could also have, if we came over here to documents, have folders created so that you could start adding folders and, and uh, files for this customer. All this great stuff. And if we come back to Automation Center, let's take a quick look and see what it did here. All right, so let's look at our history. We can say to up, oh, new customer fired. You know, the applicant it was created for is Ryan Buchman. If I click this and go right to the customer, and I can see that it succeeded. So what did it do? It created a task, right? This is a great table because it also lets you see things that might have failed. So for example, when I was talking about you need to add an email address, right? When you're creating an account, right? You want a member to do that. This workflow failed. So I wonder why it failed. Let's take a look. Oh, it failed because the applicant that was created didn't have an email address. Right, so this workflow, the idea was send an email when an applicant is created, but they didn't have an email address set up. So um, this is a great tool, this table right here, because it lets you see what's happening, what worked, what didn't work. But at the end of the day, the goal here is that we've provided a really amazing, simple tool to be able to use so that your agency can start automating. We have all of these amazing templates that you guys can look through. And like we talked about with the numbers, you know, um, a total of uh, 22 triggers. You know, we've got 35 different filters and we've got 10 different actions. There are thousands of combinations of things that you can automate with what we have today in the system. And if you think that it might be a little bit daunting, don't worry about it. Just click on one of the triggers, right? One of these right here, well, I mean, not the triggers, one of the templates. This right here will get you started on a path to automating. It'll let you see what you can do, and you can, of course, always come in and edit it if you want to. So this one has a bunch of actions. You know, maybe if I go to the actions, maybe I also want another action to be added to customize it for my agency. You can do that and then save the workflow with your own name on it, right? Uh, so Automation Center, key part, of EasyLinks, key part of being able to make your agency efficient uh, going into the new year. And well, there you have it. Uh, we've made a lot of really cool enhancements to Automation Center this year, the templates, um, adding some additional triggers, especially the templates. That's one thing that I think is, like I'd mentioned, really important to help it not seem quite as daunting. You know, with those, you guys can get in there and automate uh, and even have a starting point to jump off from and maybe build upon if you even want to change some stuff. So I highly encourage everybody, if you haven't gone in and taken a look at some of the new things that we have, jump into Automation Center, see maybe if there are some new triggers that you guys want to automate uh, and improve some of the workflows in your agency so that you guys can be more efficient. And once again, stop having to do these non-revenue generating tasks. That's the point of Automation Center is to make your jobs easier. That's all the time we have. I really appreciate everybody tuning in this year. We've had fun bringing to you guys uh, some of the cool new things that we've been doing in the system, and we hope that you enjoyed it. And we really look forward to seeing you guys next year. Uh, so as we say here in Texas, I guess, yeah, we'll see y'all next year. Have a great day, everybody.